welcome to www.hypercarsimports.com. Welcome to hypercarsimports.com. Are you looking? And you also find out uh, talking about you know finding finding a dealership, uh, which dealership, uh, you know what dealership to go. You can go you know different ones. You can go you know you can check out whatever dealership that you want to go to. But then again, you have to, you know, when you go there, you're looking for a car, you know, there's certain, there's certain questions that you want to ask, uh, you know, who's, who's ever, you say, whoever's uh, selling you the car, if it's private or at a dealership. All right. So there's different things that you need to, to look out for. All right. So even about uh, down payment, do you know how much down payment that you should be, uh, that you should be leaving? All right. So you don't want to. You don't want to leave. You don't want to leave too much of a down payment. You know, down payment enough uh, that you you'll be able to get a car. You can some down payments will be five thousand dollars, depending on the amount of the car. Some down payment will be ten thousand dollars. All right, some of them could even be twenty thousand uh, dollar down payment. So, if your car is worth, uh, if your car is worth, if you're spending a million dollars on a car, how much of a down payment do you have to leave? On that so if you want to find out and what you should be leaving and what to what to look out for then go to hypercarsimports.com today for more information we'll be talking about buying versus leasing all right so what might be better for you if you were uh, to to lease the car is it is it you could say is it worth it is it worth your uh, is it worth it to lease it are you gonna you know you might lose some money all right so even too is that you could and then uh, trading it in. You want to know about trading it in. Uh, these are things that you need to ask. Uh, you know, the, ask this, the the ask the dealership. Say if I if I buy this car from you, if I lease this car from you, are you are you going to? Can I uh, can I get another one? Are you guys gonna? Are you are you guys going to? You know, be okay with if I trade it in, give me a good price for it, or. They're not going to give you a good price for it, and then you're going to have to spend maybe more money after. So these are things that you have to ask yourself. Is, or you know, you have to ask yourself: Are you, are, do you want to spend this? Uh, do you want to spend this type of money on on a car? You know, some of this you can say some some will be like, oh, it's oh, you you, you can ask you can say you can ask your friends. You want to talk about you getting this car, and they're like, no, no, don't get it. It's not. Uh, it's not they're just telling you not to get it but then again is that you might just want to get it anyway so it's like even to like we want to talk yeah so if you're looking for a mclaren a ferrari a lamborghini just the name of the few uh ex supercars out there if you're looking for that type of car and you want to you know find a you can say a find find one at a good you say price then then go to hypercarsimports.com and you'll get all the information you need You'll find all some cars for sale and for lease on on hypercarsimports.com. You'll find you know different cars on there as well that you might come across a car and be like, yo, that's the one, that's the car, that's the car that I want, or that's that could be the car you want. And then you wanna you know call them up and and say, can I uh, can I come take a look at the car? When are you available? Can I come by uh, tonight? Can I come by tomorrow? And then. Uh, yeah, then so then you when you go to the car, when you go to the car, you you want to, you know, look at it or you want to bring you want to sometimes bring a mechanic. All right? Sometimes you want to just go to if you already have a mechanic or you you know, you go to a mechanic and uh, you'd be like, uh, "Yeah, I want to buy this car. Do you mind do you mind you or, you know, one of your mechanics come uh, or can meet me can meet me there and, you know, take a look at the car and be like, "Yeah, this is this uh, this car is okay. You you could uh, you could buy it if you want to, and then from there you can start negotiating the price. So say for instance the car is fifty thousand or a hundred thousand, five hundred thousand. So say if the car is fifty thousand dollars, and or even twenty five thousand dollars. So the person's asking for twenty five thousand dollars. You can negotiate the price. Say you only have twenty. Say you have twenty five. You have twenty. You have twenty five thousand to spend. You have thirty thousand to spend. And then you you're gonna need some extra money after too. You're gonna need other money for uh, for uh, 
you say for for maintenance, or like you gotta maintain the car, you gotta go for your, uh, you have to maintain it. So you're you're you gotta you gotta think about the uh, the maintenance and how much is that's gonna uh, cost as well. So we're gonna be talking about different types of maintenance uh, fees, what what they're usually around. Uh, also at hypercarsimports.com. So yeah, we're talking about buying versus leasing, uh, car depreciation. So that's something that you need to know about. Maybe you didn't even know about car depreciation uh, until you until you came across here, right? So for instance, the car costs $100,000. And this, by then, uh, the car is only going to be worth, uh, sooner or later, it's going to be worth 20000 Depending what car you get, some cars will hold its value or sometimes even go up in price all right so uh yeah if you want to if you want to find out more information about that as well go to hypercarsimports.com today uh first time buyer so if you're a first time buyer and you you you're going to you're going to need to know at least you know a couple questions to ask uh, the person that you're buying the car from you, you know ha, ha, has the car ever been uh are those the is it the you can say is it the original uh is it the original motor is it the original transmission is it uh is it still original shocks uh original or did they put uh you say an after uh an after upgraded uh part on the car it's sometimes it'll be they, they spent uh say five thousand ten thousand dollars just on upgrading the car not necessarily means we're gonna we're gonna talk about more about that uh, once you uh, once you go to hypercarsimports.com so those uh, importing your car we're also talking about importing your car what you need to know about uh, importing your car uh, first time buyer car depreciation buying versus leasing so those one two three those four uh, four four you could say four tips is going to uh, you're gonna know what to do after, all right? So you're not just going, you're not just going there buying a car, and then you're gonna buy this car, and then it's not gonna end up the way that you thought the car was gonna end up. You just like, maybe the car's gonna give you, maybe the time you get the car, you're gonna have to replace your, the time you get the car, you're gonna drive it around for a little bit, and then you're gonna have to replace the brakes. So that's something you didn't know. Now you gotta pay extra for that. But if you take in your if you taken a mechanic there, they could have t taken out the car for a drive. They're like, you know, these these brakes are, you know, you're gonna have to replace them soon. And to replace these on a supercar, it's gonna cost you five thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars. Some of them could. It depends, like how much you really want to spend, really, and what's within your budget. Uh, buying options, all right. Buying options, we're talking about, and and deposit, like deposit tips, like deposit tips, like how much. Should you be leaving on the car? How much of a deposit should you be leaving on the car? Are you leaving a hundred thousand dollar deposit? Are you leaving fifty thousand dollar deposit? Are you leaving a ten thousand dollar deposit? Are you leaving a fifteen hundred dollar deposit? So, depending how much the car is, you're gonna have to leave a deposit, or else your your monthly uh, you're gonna have to be paying say ten thousand dollars a month on a car on a car lease, or five thousand dollar on a car lease, a thousand dollars on a car lease. So, you could go spend ten thousand dollars with this with one dealership and then uh, then maybe you find out that you could have got they someone else could have got it for you for eight thousand or five thousand so and then or you want to you know you you're now you want to trade it in now you want to get something better so you're gonna know what to do after that after you've uh, after you per after if you're a first time buyer a second time buyer third even third time buyer so maybe if you're a third time buyer and you go to hypercarsimports.com you'll you'll know for next time on what to to look out for and then you'll uh, you'll just uh, you'll you'll find out you'll find out what uh, yeah you were just talking about different types of uh, you know horsepower we're talking about torque we're talking about rims we're talking about different types of exhaust uh, do you want to put a catalyst you know take the cats out you know if you take the cats out you go uh, you go straight pipe you know there's a chance that you know you can uh, it's different depending where you're from you know having removing the catalytic converter can get you could get you a, a, a get you a ticket right get you a fine and then you have to pay that fine then you have to take it back to the mechanic and put your and then 
you know, the money you spent on the exhaust, say you spent 10,000 on the exhaust and you no longer, you're, you're, you're going around, you're getting tickets, you know, you're getting a ticket here for exhaust too, too much noise. You're getting a ticket here for no, how to, no catalytic converter. So is it going to be really worth it? Is it going to be, you can say, yeah, it's worth it. I don't, I, you don't mind paying the tickets. You're like, okay, I'll pay the ticket. And then I'll just continue to drive after, uh, after I get another, uh, another ticket for the catalytic converter. All right. So, uh, be sure to go to hypercarsimports.com today for more information and to get started on how you can start buying your first sports car, supercar, hypercar today.